Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about 1 by 4 demultiplexer. In digital logic design course, switching TV and logic design course and digital electronics course. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is demultiplexer, how it is works, what are the applications of demultiplexer, how to design 1 by 2 demultiplexer. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Divella Srinivasa Rao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about four points in 1 by 4 demultiplexer. First one is block diagram of 1 by 4 demultiplexer. Second one is truth table of 1 by 4 demultiplexer. Third one is logical expressions for outputs of 1 by 4 demultiplexer. And fourth one is logic circuit of 1 by 4 demultiplexer. As the name implies, 1 by 4 demultiplexer contains 1 input and 4 outputs. The 1 input is A and 4 outputs are Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. So these are called as 4 outputs of 1 by 4 multiplexer. 1 input and 4 outputs. Hence we can say that it is a 1 by 4 D multiplexer. 1 by 4 D multiplexer can also be called as 1 by 4 D max. Okay. Among these 4 outputs, only 1 output is selected. That 1 output is selected by using 2 selection lines. Okay. 4 outputs can be written as 2 power 2. In the power 2 is there. So, therefore, two selection lines are required to select only one output among the four outputs. Whatever the output that is selected, the input line is connected to that output. Okay. Here, the two selection lines are S0 and S1. Okay. So, these are called as selection lines. Now, 1 by 4 demultiplexer contains 1 input, 4 outputs and 2 selection lines. By using that 2 selection lines, we have to select only one output among the four outputs. Whatever the output that is selected, the input line is connected to that output line. Okay. For example, S0, S1 value is equal to 0, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 0. Therefore, Y0 output is selected, the input line A is connected to Y0 output. Next, S0, S1 value is equal to 0, 1. The equivalent decimal value is 1. So, therefore, Y1 output is selected, the input line A is connected to Y1. Next, S0, S1 value is equal to 1, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 2. Therefore, Y2 output is selected. So, input line A is connected to Y2 output. Next, S0, S1 value is equal to 1, 1. 
the equivalent decimal value is 3. Therefore, Y3 output is selected. Input line A is connected to Y3 output. This entire operation can be done by, by using the enable input. If enable input E value is equal to 1, whatever the operation that is discussed already, that can be performed. If E value is equal to 0, the demultiplexer cannot perform its operation. Okay, so this is called as enable input. So, this is the working of 1 by 4 demultiplexer. Now, coming for the truth table. Okay, in the truth table, the truth table contains two columns. One is inputs column, second one is output column. In the input column, we are taking only the selection lines can be taken as the inputs. So here the selection lines are S0, S1. The outputs are Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. Okay. Here how many number of inputs are there? Two inputs are there. How many number of possible input combinations we are getting? 2 power n. That is equal to 2 power 2. That is equal to 4 possibles. So that are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are the 4 possible input combinations. When S0, S1 value is equal to 0, 0, the equivalent decimal value is 0. Therefore, Y0 output is selected. At that place, we are connecting the input line to the Y0 output line. The remaining outputs are zeros. Next one, S0, S1 value is equal to 0, 1. The equivalent decimal value is 1. Therefore, Y1 output is selected. The input line A is connected to Y1 output line. The remaining output lines are zeros. Next one, S0, S1 values are 1, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 2. Therefore, Y2 output is selected. The input line A is connected to Y2 output line. The remaining outputs are zeros. Next one, S0, S1 values are 1, 1. The equivalent decimal value is 3. Therefore, Y3 output is selected. So, input line A is connected to Y3 output line. The remaining outputs are zeros. So, in this way, we have to construct the truth table of 1 by 4 T multiplexer. Now, Next one is, we have to write the logical expressions for each and every output. First, we have to write the logical expressions for Y0. So, Y0 is selected when S0 value is 0. S0 value 0 means S0 bar. S1 value 0 means S1 bar. And what is the input that is connected to Y0? A. So, Y0 is equal to S0 bar, S1 bar, A. Okay. Next one. We have to write the logical expression for Y1. So, Y1 output is selected at the corresponding inputs S0 value 0. That means S0 bar. S1 value 1, that is S1. And input line A is connected to Y1. Okay. Next one. We have to write the logical expression for Y2. So, Y2 is equal to, Y2 output is selected at the corresponding inputs 
S1 S0 value 1. So therefore S0 S1 value 0. That means S1 bar and the input line A is connected to Y2. Next one Y3. We have to write the logical expressions for Y3 output. Y3 output is selected at the corresponding inputs S0 value 1, S1 value 1. Therefore, S0, S1 and the input line A is connected to Y3. Okay. So, these are the four logical expressions for the outputs of 1 by 4 demultiplexer. Okay. Once we are getting these logical expressions, we have to draw the logic circuit for 1 by 4 demultiplexer. First, here S0 selection line. S0 value 1 means this is the line. S0 value 0 means we have to add the not 8. Next one. S1 line is this line. S1 line is 0 we are getting by adding the not 8. Next one, this is input line A. Next, first we have to draw the circuit for Y0. Y0 is equal to S0 bar. S0 bar, S1 bar, S1 bar, A, this is A. So, these three inputs can be sent to three input and gate. So, then we are getting the output Y0. Okay, so this line is S0 bar. And this line is S1 bar and this line is A. Next one is Y1. S0 bar. Only S1. Next A. These three inputs can be send it to three input and gate. Then we are getting the output Y1. Okay. Next one is S0. S1 bar. A. These three inputs can be sent to three input and gate, then we are getting the output. Next one is Y3. This is S0, S1 and A. These three inputs can be sent to three input and gate, then this is the output Y3. Okay. So, in this way, we have to draw the logic circuit of 1 by 4 D multiplexer. Okay. So, this is the simple explanation of 1 by 4 D multiplexer. This is the block diagram of 1 by 4 D multiplexer. This is the truth table of 1 by 4 D multiplexer. And these are the logical expressions for the four outputs Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. And by using that logical expressions, we have to draw the logic circuit of 1 by 4 D multiplexer. I hope all of you understanding this concept. If you really understand this concept, so simply like this video, share this video to your friends and classmates. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, so Divela Srinivasrao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, 
please click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.